Alright, so this is the start of my master study series. Uh, I've been wanting to get into color and value, so who better to study than Ahmed al -Duri? Of course, all of his socials will be posted in the description. Okay, let's get right into it. His drawing is obviously on the top left, and right now you're going to witness my attempt at a line drawing based on his painting. You may have noticed that I zoomed out a bit, and the reason I zoom out is to make sure that I pay attention to the color value shapes within the reference. Zooming out definitely stopped me from entering rendering mode too soon and helped me focus more on the bigger picture. In order to match those values, I implemented the notorious squint technique, which as you might be able to tell, involves squinting. Essentially, you squint when looking at any picture, which blurs the overall image and helps you distinguish the dark and light values easier. I'm going to skip a bit in the time lapse for the second time. I tried my best to match the colors that I saw in the reference instead of just pulling straight from it. The reason I did this was to make myself think about how Ahmed al Duri got to these colors and why they work together to create this kind of portrait. Okay, so while you're copying and trying your best to imitate your reference, you're bound to feel inferior to the artist of your reference. And it's true, your art is going to be worse. Alright, I made something up to convince you to go along with this exercise um, and possibly make you not feel too bad about yourself. So here we go. As you copy, you'll notice some of the patterns that make your reference so appealing. In this case, just one of the things that stood out to me was Ahmed al Duri's use of the color blue. Ahmed al Duri uses many different shades of different types of blue, creating a much more appealing color palette. Just to name a couple of the patterns I noticed, layering different colors, light direction, light intensity, and something very important, adherence to form. There are many others that you will subconsciously take with you after copying an artist. Let's move on to some main takeaways. First, I learned what I don't know. The neat thing about figuring out what you don't know is that you also find out what you need to study and focus on in the future. In my case, I found out that my understanding of skull shape and the planes of the face was lacking. Also, I had no idea how to begin rendering and adding the interesting textures that Ahmed al Duri was able to. Next, I realized that it's quite hard to learn color and value at the same time. I may have to humble myself yet again with black and white studies. Third, I felt myself getting a lot more comfortable using the keyboard shortcuts for tools, which really sped up the process. I think I forgot to mention that you should only give yourself about 45 minutes to copy your reference and take away as much as you can. The time limit makes sure that you don't spend too much time on each reference and you get more mileage. Alright, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, see ya!